Well, this thing is about uh, multiple test attempts. For starters, I'm just using a brief little sample test here that shows multiple attempts enabled. I just set it to three, okay? And that's giving me this test link in the course. And now in as a student, I'll go to actually take the test for my first attempt and I'll give it some answer here to this insightful little identification and I'll submit that. All right. Now of course from this screen I can hit OK and actually see the results of my test or I can come back here and say I want to take the test for my second attempt. Now, it does tell you at this screen it allows multiple attempts. You actually have to say begin and it will tell you that if you click OK, you'll see the results of your last attempt. Or take the test again. One attempt of three. Okay. So you actually have to click the words take the test again. And then it loads up the screen and I could answer it this time. Okay. And now it's showing me just the results of my last attempt. Okay. And I could do that again if I wanted to. The point being after you say begin, you're asked, do you want to just see the last attempt that you did or do you want to take the test again? And you actually have to click on that text. It's a little easy to overlook that. If a student's just blazing through the screen, uh, they'll see the OK button, they'll hit it, and they'll get taken to results. And then they'll think that they're stuck in a loop going around and around in circles forever. Okay, And of course, just to go through the full cycle here. I'll hop into the Grade Center and take a look at that uh, test attempt made. There's two actual attempts recorded. You can look at the details. Um, this stuff probably looks familiar if you've been working with multiple attempts in the past anyway. Grade individual ones, clear individual ones. And if you do clear, it gets rid of the entire attempt. So if I were to clear one of these, like this one right here, and confirm that it's gone, it's truly gone. And so this student would have two more attempts out of the three possible instead of just one more because we allowed three in total. Um, so that's multiple attempts. The trick really from the student side is clicking on the text to take the test again rather than hitting that OK button. All right. So now you know the secret.